It's devastating to see so many people being impacted by this hurricane. Hurricane Milton produced record rainfall throughout the district. Some regions got 15 inches of rain, which is over the 100-year storm event that we usually model for in our watershed management plans. The district is conducting a two-day aerial mission to document the flooding throughout the district. I am Ann Wolfgang. I'm a staff engineer with the Southwest Florida Water Management District, and I am part of the watershed and engineering section. To document the flooding, we take a photo, we GPS link it, and then we make notes so that survey staff can come out at a later date and survey the exact level that the water gets to so that we can represent that in our models. The Anklote River in western Pasco County was severely flooded. Many structures and streets were inundated. We've documented flooding all the way from Hillsborough through Pasco and Hernando counties. We flew over Cruz Lake, which is experiencing record flooding, as well as along the Alafaya River, which experienced record flooding. Hasn't seen flooding like that in over 100 years. The main purpose of this is to identify areas of high risk. We use this data in many applications. The primary one is for verification of our watershed models. With flooding throughout the district being so widespread, going all the way from the northern region to the southern region, being able to cover a wide area quickly is very invaluable. We want to get the water while it's still there. We usually spend weeks and weeks and weeks driving around to be able to get into a helicopter and document regional flooding quickly and efficiently is a huge saver for time and resources. This effort is another example of the district's mission to reduce flood risk for the public.